I've pretty much always been about a head taller than everyone. She has this key word, uh, which is ruthless, uh, rather than just be Ruth. She was the piece that I think that we really were missing last year. In a sport where size is a huge asset, Ruth Hamblin is learning how to heighten her chances of success. I think I'm like the second tallest in the league, but it's a very competitive athletic league, so you have to find ways to use your height and maximize it. Officially listed at six foot six, Ruth's coach believes she's taller than that, putting her on a similar footing height-wise to Eagle star Nick Natanui. I'd say she'd be pushing six eight with her shoes on. She's a very, very big girl. On the court, that's a fair head start. Getting rebounds, blocking shots, and then just yeah, being really strong and getting kind of those easy layups to take pressure off our outside shooters. Being a giant and intimidating her opponents hasn't come naturally for this successful US college player and WNBA rookie. She is a softie to the point that we've had to kind of ask her to be less of a softie on the court. You know, we're, we're begging her to, and you can see it now, she's coming out and she's being a lot more aggressive. She, she's still worried about, uh, you can see she's worried about hurting people. Her gentle nature makes her a popular figure at the links. She's a beautiful young lady. She goes and bakes cookies for the staff. Professional basketball in Australia is a world away from her childhood in Canada. I grew up on a Black Angus cattle ranch in British Columbia. A late starter in the game, Ruth is a work in progress, according to her former coaches. The figures they were saying to us is, look, she's only 70%, 75% done. There's a lot of room for improvement, and we've seen that. I think with Ruth, the beauty is that she is always learning. She's like a sponge out there. Learning to decipher how Australians talk has also been an education. Kind of just put all these slang words together and just be like, whoa, what the heck are you saying there? It didn't stop the 22-year-old from a standout 21-point performance in her last game. Just learning to play in a championship culture and a championship team, that's huge. She really has embraced Perth and embraced Australia.